Hey guys, it's John. This is a Rad3 video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to download and install Rad3, the alpha version. Okay, I'll put the link in the description. You got to come over here to curseforge.com and you just have to come over here to the roguelike adventures and dungeons page. You just come over here to files and then you will notice uh, this is probably going to be unchecked for you and you're going to be like, where's the, the stuff? You have to click right here where it says show alpha files. Right now, Rad3 is an alpha. It's not actually on the CurseForge launcher. So you have to download the files here. So the latest one is 0.16a. You would just click download the file, download it manually, you know, put it wherever the heck you're going to put it. And then you're all set. Once you've downloaded the file, just open up CurseForge, come over to your Minecraft section right here where it says import. You're going to choose a zip file and then you're just going to grab the zip file. In this case, it's in my downloads folder. Wherever you put the uh, file, just get it from there. You just click open and then right here you can see it is now installing Rad3, the alpha. Once the mod pack is downloading, you can open it up. You can go ahead and change things. Um, if you need to change the name, I would suggest doing that. You can just come over here to profile options and then change the name. I usually put, you know, which version it is so I don't get confused because it usually will say, oh, Rad3 1.21 or whatever. It doesn't actually say which version it is. Okay, um, if you want to add mods, make sure you put allow content management. Uh, I always put on a bunch of RAM, so however much RAM you could put on, you know, put that on. Just go ahead and click done. If you want to add any mods, you can go ahead and click add content here. And other than that, just go ahead and click play and get started. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Um, I just wanted to make this video just real quick because I keep getting people asking me like, where do I download Rad3 or how do I, you know, install it or whatever because it's not on the launch or blah, blah, blah. So I just want to do a quick video just to show people how to, you know, install it on the CurseForge launcher. So, but anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that video helps you out. And I will see you later. Bye.